two weeks. And I've actually been mourning the death of someone who's very, very special to me, Anna Nicole Smith. It's been a rough few weeks. I watched a lot of reruns of the Anna Nicole Smith show. I didn't know how I was gonna go on, but you know what? I'm back, I'm here. And in an unrelated side note, I've stopped taking trim spa. But the news must go on. So here's something you probably haven't heard before. The protesters at the Oaks are complaining, again. Apparently the new athletic center is about to be built on top of a Native American burial ground. Now the university has released some scathing press releases assuring the campus community that this is not the case. They even had Kent Lightfoot, the Native American archaeology curator at the Hearst Museum, assure the community of this. Kent Lightfoot says that in 1923, half a skeleton was found along with a Mexican coin. But to date, the university has done extensive research and there are no artifacts, skeletons, or dead spirits floating around ready to haunt our football players. So don't worry, team. All you have to worry about is USC next season. In other Berkeley news, a Clayton man, Darren Scott, has been arrested for making death threats and vandalizing the Pacific Center for Human Growth, an LGBT resource center located in Berkeley. Um, this is really sad, guys. I've come from LA, I'm a dancer, I'm going to Berkeley, I have a lot of LGBT friends, and these things just dishearten me. But to shed a positive light on the community, I'm going to go through my top five sexiest gay men. Number five, Richard Simmons. I know you might disagree, but it's Richard Simmons. How can you not love him? Number four, T.R. Knight, Grey's Anatomy. Definitely enough said. Number three, Neil Patrick Harris. For anyone who's watched Doogie Howser MD, you all know why we love medical dramas. Number two, Lance Bass. He was definitely my first crush when I was 10 years old. I was a little crush when I found out he was gay, but Lance, it's okay. You've moved on, I've moved on. We're all, you know, in better places. And Number one, our very own Cal TV show's Yao Do. Yao is not gay. Yao's not gay? No. But he told me that's why he didn't want to go out with me. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. It's okay, Yao. Um, in happier news, Cal TV now has a Facebook profile. I know that everyone can use more Facebook friends. I definitely can especially since I'm going to go home and defriend me out immediately. But if you go head on over to Facebook and you look up Cal TV, last name Smith, you'll find us. We're a lot of fun. We put up a lot of notes. We write on people's walls. Please add us. We need friends. But that also brings me to my top five Facebook crimes. Now, I've been on Facebook for about a year and a half, and there are all these new features. They're unrolling all these different things. There are like 8,000 freshmen who add me every day and tell me how good looking I am. Listen, there are some rules to Facebook, guys, okay? Rule number one, you cannot tag yourself in more photos than other people have tagged you. It's not cool. I look at it and I just realize that you're really unpopular and then I defriend you. Not fun. Number two, you cannot add people that you've never met before or have met for three seconds while they were drunk and trying to throw up in the bushes of that frat party you were at last weekend. Trust me, they don't remember you and they probably do not want to be your friend. Number three, being in a relationship on Facebook. Now, this is a little weird. You can definitely be in a relationship on Facebook and that's fine, but if you're one of those people who's going to list to me in your activities, interests, favorite movies, favorite books, favorite music, and in your about me, how much you love your boyfriend or girlfriend, how you just want to marry them, how everything they say is pure poetry, once again, I will click defriend. Number four, poking excessively. I don't enjoy it. It's very weird when I get eight pokes a day. And I mean, I mean I'm a popular person. I get a lot of pokes, but it's just weird. Don't, don't over poke. And number five, the worst thing that you can do on Facebook, having some type of emo pictures, your main picture. The shit's not my space, guys. Go back to high school. So, I mean, yeah, those are kind of the rules to Facebook. I know I was a little bit harsh, but considering that I spend 23 out of 24 hours a day on Facebook, I should make sure that everyone is pretty clear on just how well things should be run. But moving right along, we now have this new segment on Cal TV that we're starting that we like to call <laughs> the week. And every week we pick out someone, something, some person who's done something cool, preferably in the Berkeley community, and we want to showcase them on our show. So this week uh, we searched far and wide, and so far actually that we ended up in Uzbekistan. There's an Uzbeki model named Vilyara Musbeva. And she wants to apply to go to Berkeley to get into the Hall School of Business. 
However, she didn't just do what the rest of us would do, fill out a transfer application attached with a $500 bill, but she put a video up on YouTube showing just how badly she wanted to get it. So let's go check it out. Like all other immigrants to the United States, I am full of enthusiasm for success in my new country. Specifically, after some very hard work at the community college, I have high hopes of being accepted as a student of business at the University of California. There you have it, of the week. Biliara, I wish you the best of luck getting into law school of business. I know that they rejected my application and kept the $500, so, you know, good luck. And for the rest of you out there in internet land, make sure that you tell all your friends to keep watching the Cal TV show and keep checking back often because we've got